Hey everybody, I'm Logan and this is Heirloom Builders. Today we're finally working on replastering this north wall that got eroded by heavy windblown rain in Hurricane Ian. Um, it used to be three coats of earth and clay plaster with a skim coat of lime plaster or render on the surface to protect that clay plaster. Um, this was, as many of you have suggested, destined to fail. To me it was an experiment. I wanted to use as much clay that I dug up from digging the foundation on the house and, and limit how much outside material we brought in to actually build the house. If you know anything about the house, the house is built with um, mostly materials um, from this area, if not this land. The frame is an oak timber frame, post and beam. The walls are straw bale walls with earthen and clay and lime plaster to finish. Um, but heavy rain saturated the clay plaster and as that clay plaster gets wet, it absorbs, um, it, it starts to turn back into mud and that mud just doesn't have enough strength to hold on to the straw. So it delaminated, it fell off of the house and now we're left with a straw bale wall system with the clay slip coat that is protecting the bales. We're still going to keep the clay slip on the straw bale walls to protect the bales from the corrosive quality of the lime plaster. Now again, this, this lime plaster, because it is caustic, it is corrosive by nature, um, we need to we need to take a little extra precaution in um, masking off the things that might get damaged. So I'm going to put some cardboard down on top of the deck here, and um, I'm going to keep a sponge with me and a bucket of water so that I can wipe down any metal or the windows if they do get lime on them. So we're going to be making lime plaster today, and um, the key here to get the lime plaster to adhere to this straw bale wall system with a clay slip is to make sure that we add a little bit of clay to that lime plaster because like bonds to like. Clay wants to bond to clay. Lime actually bonds really way to, well to clay on its own, but adding a little bit of clay into this first uh, coat of plaster is really going to help the two bond together and create a really strong connection to the straw bale wall system. Um, as you can see, we've got a, a lot of texture on this wall. A straw bale wall is by nature, little in, little out. Um, it's not a flat wall system. So that's working to our advantage in that those undulations are going to provide a whole lot more surface area for that plaster to bond to the wall. Um, there are little bits of straw sticking out and that's going to also help key that plaster into the wall system. Um, so I'm going to disconnect the light off the wall and re-prep that area for plaster. Um, I'm going to go ahead and staple uh, the burlap and probably add some fiberglass reinforcement around the windows and around any other penetration so that the plaster has something to bond to. We need a lath. Um, stapled to the framing to help the perimeter, the edges, uh, stick. So on the original installation we had diamond lath, the metal expanded metal lath at the bottom and around the door and burlap around the windows to adhere to the clay plaster. Um, that burlap is loose in some spots so I'm going to go back and staple that off and make sure that the metal lath at the bottom of the wall is nice and secure and anywhere that's weak, I'm going to add some fiberglass lath that's going to work really well to hold the plaster in place and prevent cracking. So I've gone through and prepped the walls by taking a shovel and scraping off all the loose mud and getting down to that slip coat of plaster so that we have three full coats of lime plaster in the finish. So here we go, let's do it. Right. 
got gloves on it's just kind of an ideal way, I think, to put it on. So basically just kind of hold your hand like that, you know, uh -huh. and then just push it in and smear it. Finger painting. And then, I mean, kind of maybe at the end. Okay. Um, and it'd be good like around the edge of this window. Like I don't want to, I don't want to build it. Like right now I've got it all the way built in, but I'm gonna take the trowel and like push that down so that it can fit. So you're kind of just like screeding with your hand so that you know it's gonna be thicker in some spots like here, and then you're just like putting pretty even but firm pressure on it to push it in. And really, we're just trying to work it in there and make it stick and um, get in there. Like, I, I'm cool with this texture right here. Um, and then we can come back and kind of just flatten it with a trowel. I'm not scratching it. Okay, cool, so that's done. We got a first coat of lime plaster on and that feels really good. Um, if I had to do it over again though, honestly, um, I would have made a wetter mix. We mixed this plaster um, to where it's, it's a little bit drier, it's not sloppy. I mean, when you hold it in your hands, it doesn't just like ooze out. Um, that probably would be better for the second and third coat. I made this a little too dry there because when we put it on top of the earthen plaster, um, that plaster, even though we wet it down, we make sure to wet it down, that earthen plaster, so that it doesn't, it's not so dry and it pull all of the moisture out of the, the fresh wet lime plaster um, as it's curing. You don't want that earthen plaster to suck the moisture out of the lime plaster, so we wet the wall down first. Um, but it, there's still a lot of it, and it's so thirsty that it still, I think, um, absorbed some of the water out of the lime plaster a little bit too fast. And you can see a little more cracking in this coat of plaster than I would like. 
um, but it still feels really strong. It's got a good bond to that earth and clay slip on the straw bale wall. And um, overall, I'm really excited about it. One of the things that we were able to do here um, that I hadn't tried before, but it actually worked really well, is take the bottom end of this glass jar. It worked out perfectly with the little beveled sides to put right in here and create a stop for the plaster so we have a nice place to finish the plaster up against where this wall sconce is. Um, so that worked out really well. We just troweled. I just put this right up on the wall and troweled all the way around it and was able to pull it right back off. Um, so I can mount that light in between coats of plaster if I don't get to this next one um, for a week or two. I can go ahead and mount that light back on it. It's got a nice flat place to land. So overall, I'm really excited um, about the progress today. Graham and uh, my buddy Joe came over to help out. They knew what was going on. Um, thanks to YouTube. And um, offered to give me a hand to getting this wall put back together. And within, you know, two, three hours, Liz, myself, Joe, and Graham all knocked this out. Um, so it's really not that big of a deal. Three hours per coat. Uh, we're going to do three coats. So, you know, with the cleanup and everything, we're looking at about three half days of work to refinish this wall. It's not bad. And I feel really good about having a super strong bonding coat on top of the straw bale wall system now. So even when we get those heavy north storm, north blowing storms, or storms blowing from the north and driving all of that rain against this wall and not having the sun. As you can see, this wall has been in the shade all day long. And that's just how it is. It just doesn't get that much potential to dry out being on the north side away from the sun. So when it gets hammered by rain, it just, it just sits there and sits there. It doesn't have a lot of time to dry out. And so that clay plaster had just absorbed all that moisture and it couldn't hold the weight and that's why it fell off. But now we got, we're going to have already, we've got a half an inch of lime on there to protect the straw bale wall system and bond to the straw bale wall system. And after the next two coats, we're going to have about another half an inch of plaster on top of that. So there's going to be a full inch of plaster lime render on top, covering the straw bale wall system and keeping it safe from the rain. So I feel really good about it. I hope that you guys were able to gain some um, understanding about the, you know, the process here and hopefully it helps you on your project. As you guys know, the comment section can be super helpful at sharing information, um, sharing different strategies that work. This system works out super well in my area because we have so much um, clay and exposure to sun and wind for drying that I'm able to use earth and plaster on the inside of my straw bale house and save the lime, the complete three coat lime system only for the north wall that doesn't have the same drying potential. Uh, but let me know what you're about to do on your project in your area and that information is super helpful for other people that might be in the same situation as you. So this is how we do it here and I hope you guys find luck on your project. If you like this video, smash the like button. Make sure to subscribe if you're all if you're not already, and uh, hopefully we'll see you on the next one. Until then, peace out.